me. Sorry about that, my beauty unicorns. My sister came in. She gave me a cookie from Burger King. <laughs> but yeah, back to what we were talking about. I just basically just continue to add that there. And plus, since I put the eye sh the um, eyeliner at a kind of winged style, it doesn't, not it doesn't, but uh, again, it saves me the trouble of basically, you know, making eyeliner, like a lined eyeliner. I'm gonna be driving that over there. And let me know if you guys make weird faces when you are putting on makeup. Because I tend to do that sometimes. There we go. Uh, let me know if you guys like my afro too. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna start wearing my afro a lot more today. Not today, but like this summer. So you guys are probably going to see pictures on my Instagram of me wearing my afro instead of, you know, my wigs that I usually wear. So yeah. Just let me know if you guys like that. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to be getting my... Getting my eyeliner... My eye, my eyeliner, um, not eyeliner, but my, the black in my Jaclyn Hill palette. Oops, sorry. <laughs> my black color right there in my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to be patting that on. I'm going to be patting that on the black eyeliner to kind of help it set a little bit and help it easily blend to the next color that I'm going to be using. Be letting that pat and set. So yeah, I'm going to be wearing a lot more of my, um, we weren't a lot of my uh, my natural hair out because sometimes it is, it gets too hot to wear wigs. So I'm going to be like, hey, I'm going to wear my natural hair and let it breathe for a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also going to be doing probably like the same tutorial on my Facebook. And probably have like little clips of it on on my Instagram so I'm just gonna be be just either doing it here and also on my Facebook so people can actually see me do this live <laughs> um, and the next color I'm gonna use is called busted well if you guys can't see it there hold on I'm gonna be using the next color called busted which is this kind of blue really dark blue color so I'm going to use that and I'm going to add it right there it may look messy right now kind of a little bit of messy right now but it's gonna it's gonna be blending in I hope that you guys can see this it's like a really light blue color well, a really, really dark navy blue color. Well, no, more like a turquoise color. But I think what I might want to also do is add some colors from my Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Maybe like a little blue color. So I might just use... I might just use this color, this dark blue color, go right there, and I'm gonna add that. Add a little bit more color to it. 
Now, if it looks a little bit more darker, I might end up using this light turquoise color too. This one right here. Trying to like lighten the colors up a little bit. It's kind of always hard when you do, it's kind of always hard when you kind of do very dark colors. Because sometimes it doesn't kind of look like there's any color there, which kind of sucks. Now this color's showing up. Now it's showing up a little bit more. Yeah, it's showing up a little bit more. Oh, it's a lot better. So what I might do on the the other eye is actually use this this turquoise color and then adding the dark busted blue color onto it to kind of combine those colors together. That's what I might do. I'm sorry, keep having my mouth all open. <laughs> That's just a habit when it comes to doing makeup. But yeah. So it might be look a little bit different, more lighter. But I'm going to also add the busted as a middle color to kind of like combine them both together. Yep. I hope I'm not like covering my face. For you guys to see. My that's the thing about it is doing smoky eyes is that sometimes it may not look good for everybody. But then again, you can try and make it look as good as you want it to. Okay, and if you want to clean it up a little bit, you can just grab your makeup wipe, uh, the makeup wipe that I'm using is this coconut oil one, it works pretty well, and it has like coconut oil in it, it's called um, Botanicals Collection Global Beauty Care, it's like makeup clean wipes, so if I want to ever like clean this up, I can do just grab one and clean it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do grab my makeup wipe, kind of graze against the edge. There we go. And probably just add a little bit more colors on this one. Okay, and then I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Alrighty, and that's how I do it. I might want to just kind of add a little bit of the black to kind of like 
make it resurface a little bit. But other than that, I'm pretty much almost done. I want to kind of Alrighty, there we go. Oh, one more thing I forgot. So sometimes I like to add a little bit of like a, a normal highlighter in my colors. So what I'm most likely going to do is I'm going to pop a little bit of this VIP coming from Jacqueline Morphe's palette, uh, Armed and Gorgeous. Gonna be just adding that VIP color, the white color that I have. And I'm gonna pre just pop it right in my inner corner of the eye. So what I'm gonna do, pop it right in there. Pretty sure if you guys follow my Instagram, you guys will see we have that little pop of, you know, icy white that I like to add in. There we go. And usually I would add some color under under the eye, but this time I just kind of don't feel like it since my allergies are kind of messing up. But yeah, there we go. This is the finished look. Not doing a free, I'm not doing a full face, but this is just the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, tune in for my next couple of videos that I will be, hopefully be able to kind of do. Um, <clears throat> you guys have a good day and thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and also comment if you guys want to. Um, and have a good day.